In this video, I'll show you how to generate PowerShell 7 executables in Visual Studio. So I am using uh, PowerShell Pro Tools for Visual Studio, and I have that extension installed. And you can see uh, if I click the um, File, New, Project dialog will pop up. And in there, you can search for PowerShell. I can actually just hit this little drop down here, and you can select one of the various PowerShell project templates. I will select a PowerShell Windows Forms project for this particular example. Um, and I will just call this WinForm and click Create. So what that's going to do is create my PowerShell Windows Form project. And on the right-hand side, you can see inside my Solution Explorer, uh, it populated the um, Solution Explorer with my project, uh, my WinForms, PS1, and then my designer file. So the PS1 file here, you can see, is just an, an empty designer. And all that is doing is calling um, show dialog here to pop open the WinForm. Um, and then if I were to actually run this, you'll see that it just pops up this uh, empty Windows form dialog. Um, to actually turn this into a executable that we can kind of transfer to another system that's not just a PowerShell script, what you can do is you can actually right click on the Windows form project and select properties. From there, you're gonna have some options. Um, we wanna go to this advanced dialog here on the left hand side. First, you're gonna wanna select your entry point. So this is where your script is going to start running. So I'm going to select winform.ps1, since that's where I want my script to start running. Uh, that is this particular script that um, loads up my designer file and then calls show dialog. Then I'm going to want to turn on bundling and package as executable. So what bundling does is it actually takes all the files that are referenced by this file or referenced by those files and bundles them all into a single um, file that we can then include inside our executable. So that means that my uh, winform.ps1 as well as my winform.designer.ps1 will be part of the executable. The other setting will actually create the executable. So then next we want to go to the executable properties. So there's a whole bunch of properties here um, that we can actually specify, but I'm just going to select a couple of the kind of basic ones to get our executable uh, generated. Um, first of all, I'm going to set the PowerShell version. So we have a list of uh, supported PowerShell versions here. And then I will select um, PowerShell 7.2.0. So in this example, I'm actually running um, Visual Studio 2022. So um, as part of that package, you can actually install the .NET SDK. But if you do need to install the .NET SDK to actually compile this version of .NET, what you can do is you can go out to um, .net.microsoft.com and download the uh, latest SDK to generate executables. Um, once it's installed, you'll be able to do something like this and run .NET version to see which version of uh, .NET SDK you have installed. Uh, because I have .NET 6 installed, then I can compile for PowerShell 7.2. Uh, next, I want to select the output type as console. I'm going to select the platform as x64, and then I'm going to set my operating system to Windows. You can also generate Linux executables from Visual Studio. Obviously, you can't run those on Windows, and they don't support Windows uh, uh, WinForms. Um, but you can generate PowerShell scripts that will um, run on Linux as executables for Linux. All right, so now I'm going to save that. And you can actually click right-click on the uh, project here or the solution and um, select Build. And then you're going to see some output in the output window here. Uh, it's going to take that script. Uh, it outputs a bunch of information about whether it's packaging modules, the .NET SDK version it's um, using, and that kind of thing. And then finally, it will um, write out the actual executable that it's generated. So now if I go over to my command prompt here and run my WinForm executable, you're going to see that it's going to pop up my Windows form. So that's actually running the PowerShell script packaged into that um, executable. So one really nice thing about uh, PowerShell 7 executables is that they actually, um, they actually are self-contained. So you're going to find that they're much larger than uh, Windows Forms executables. But as you can see here, um, this Windows form is just kind of standalone. Uh, it's almost 200 megabytes because it has the whole uh, .NET runtime and uh, PowerShell SDK included. And because of that, you can move it to systems that aren't running PowerShell 7. So if you have uh, systems that you want to run scripts made for PowerShell 7, but without actually installing PowerShell 7, you can use the um, uh, 
compiler inside Visual Studio um, to generate this. So once again, I have the uh, extension PowerShell um, Pro Tools installed inside my Visual Studio environment, and that's what's allowing me to um, generate this particular executable. So you can download this from the um, Visual Studio Marketplace, and then you can request a trial license to give this a shot. We offer 14-day free trial licenses as well as um, monthly and yearly perpetual licenses on our website. So for more information, you can visit ironmansoftware.com.